All right, Saints fans and who that's, this is Kyle T. Mosley of the Saints News Radio Network. I'm here with the professor, Derek Stevens from The Professor Speaks. What's going on, D? Not much. Happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Kwanzaa. <laughs> Look, man, the Saints are down to the Detroit Lions in the Mercedes Super Bowl, I mean Superdome. 13 to 6. It's halftime. You're here listening to the second line with uh me and Professor. Quick thoughts, Professor. What's what's going on with the Saints at this time? Uh he just said Sean Payne took over the play call, and, and that explains it. Exactly. <laughs> I said the that, same thing. <laughs> that, that, now that explains it. He will not relinquish the play calling, and the Saints office is going well without him. Now I got my answer. Yeah, he called him last week, but he's not the one that needs to be calling these play calls. Um, they look flat. Um, so I'll tell them this one out there. They look flat. And this is our, as I was telling Frank. This team does this. It's done it three out of four games. The reason why the Saints are five and six is the New Orleans Saints offense and their special team. You play these games like this and you come out flat, like the defense have kept you in the game because these people could really be up 21 to six, you know, but the defense has two field goals. So they need to stop coming out in these games and playing so flat because it's not a, a regular trip. This is the fifth game of the Saints did not score more than seven points in the first half of the game. And that's what nobody sees. They just look at the output at the end. You have to watch the game and see that this is a trend with this offense. This is the fifth game out of 12 where they scored no more than seven points in the first half. The New York Giants game, the Kansas City game, the Denver game, the Carolina game, and the Detroit game. And, you know, it's, you know, something that they just need to get this fixed because they, they can't afford to lose this. They don't have no room for error against anybody. They're already in a bind to try to even get in themselves. They're not even right now the same for number 11 on that list, tied with Green Bay and Philadelphia and behind Washington and Tampa Bay. So they're in the game. So hopefully, I'm sure Coach Payton chews them out. Um, Matthew Stafford has played extremely well. Um, it's just one of those games, even the people in the Superdome are so afraid. They're like people in the Superdome seem um, in the Christmas holidays, too. They seem sleepy and dry, too. You know, I woke up here. You no, know, I, I am, too. I'm, I'm around here moving slowly, too, because it's cold here and it's raining. And I was, actually, I was even watching the game. I was in the bed and turned it on. Then Frank came over. And I got up. This is one of these games. Um, I hope they can find a way to win if they want to stay, you know, um, and it hopes Drew, Drew in the offense. Kobe Fleener is dropping a touchdown. I, I, like I said, I don't, he's not worth $38 million. Yeah, I mean, that, that football, even though that Raphael Bush did tip the ball, it still hit his hands, man, and he, he just it dropped the hand. ball. It hit his hand. He, to me, I was looking, looking at his stats and everything earlier this week. He's only averaging close to 39 yards per game. He's not, and this is with his turn off things off because they don't have a tight end. That's in this off this offense. He's driven with a uh, with a productive tight end, and they don't have it between him and Josh Hill. They're just not consistent. And last the game against Carolina, he dropped the pass at the nine yard line that could have continued that drive. So I don't know, you know, what the Saints are going to do going forward. Um, they don't have a man, uh, man who's coming back for Kobe Fleener for what he's getting paid this year to me, my assessment of him. This is not working. Maybe he'll get better. I was hoping he'd be better by now. But he's had some timely cost that instead of seven points, the team might have to, have, have to get three. Yeah. Well, let's look a little bit at the stats, Professor. Drew Brees is 10 of 15 for 94 yards. He's being rushed by the Detroit Lions, I mean, defensive line. It looks like the Saints offensive line cannot do much to really contain the pressure. Uh, Mark Ingram has four carries for 31 yards. Brandon Cook only came up with a big reception at the end. 
uh, to be able to get them in position to at least try to score with two catches for 43 yards. On the flip side, Matthew Stafford looks like an uh, MVP candidate over there. 19 yards for 20, I mean 19 uh, completions for 175 yards and one touchdown. Yeah, he's he's playing. I mean, they, they were saying how well he's playing. It's just uh, Matthew Stafford has been playing well all year. The thing is, these Detroit Lions, they don't score a lot of points, but they play steady. They play steady. On paper, they don't look like a 74 team, but they play steady. And that's what I was telling somebody. I said, they play steady. They don't turn over the ball, and their defense plays steady. You know, it's not a top 10 defense, but it plays steady. And so the Saints are going to have to come out here in the second half and get it in grip. Yeah. Because uh, if they want to have any set, and they're getting a little help from the Chiefs, because the Chiefs and the Falcons are tied up at 13. So, you know, here's the opportunity, you know, depending on what happens in Atlanta, but you have to take that business first yourself. So. But, look, Professor, the Saints are allowing. 18 minutes possessions for the Lions. The Saints only had the ball 11 minutes, but 18 minutes. I mean, right now, if you look at the play calling, it's so inconsistent from Coach Payton, man. I mean, third, third and one. I don't, I, I don't get that. Third and one, why are you passing the ball? Because... So I say he is not the one that needs to be calling the plays. On third and one, you should have given the ball to Kuhn. I mean, it, 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 what he does is just, that's why I feel the offense is so inconsistent in the first half of games now. And see, what Matt said is they scored 49 points last week, but which people didn't see what happened the previous three out of the last four games against Kansas City, Denver, Carolina. That's why I told him this is not fitting because they scored 49 against the Rams. And that's what the man on WWL said on Scoots. He said, why doesn't Sean Payne have that same enthusiasm every week? Exactly. I mean, they just look totally flat. Totally to flat. Like this, to play like this at home, that's why the Saints are, I think they're now 3-3 three and three at home. Yeah, they're 3-3 three and three at home. And they're 2-3 and three on the road. And that's why I put it about it. No, I don't believe the Saints can win those five games in a row. You know, they're just too inconsistent. Yeah, know? but this is one of those games, it's Professor. Close. Yeah, this this is one of those games that you're at home. You have no reason being as flat as you are coming out. Yeah, you have no reason. No reason I, whatsoever. I, I, I agree. I, I, I agree. All of this is the I don't understand this, but I, I just told y'all this before. You have to look at this with the same thing. This is a trend. The Saints are very trendy. They never fix this first half offensive problem that has gone out five out of their games. It's not the defense. Why the Saints are five and six? It's not the defense. Exactly. You know, and so I don't know what, what you know, why. And then you didn't give credit to Detroit. Detroit is a solid. Solid defense coordinator and solid defense, but we saw the Saints put up 49 points against a top five defense. We saw them put up 26 against another top 10 defense in Seattle. So right. it can be done. It's not that the Saints can't do it. You know, it's that they either turn it over the ball or not execute. And once again, they left another drive around midfield when they had that third and one, like you stated, and Timmy Tower couldn't make it. You know, and that, that's the thing. Those are the things. Kobe Fleener dropping the pass. Those are the kind of things why you're five and six. Because one play in each of those games, or two plays in a Falcon game, if you turn over, you're 11 and over. Yeah. Five and six, because in the six games, you lost those games by a total of eight plays. Okay. If any one of those plays go differently, you're 11 and over. Right, right. So, look, you know, man. You gotta, you gotta learn how to tighten it up. Got, gotta tighten it up. You're, you're right, Professor. But not only that, the Saints have to be able to find a way to show a little bit more creativity. The special teams, also, we had a, a possible kick that was tipped at the line uh, by the Detroit's Lions, and Nahada came straight up the middle. Again, and it was just fortunate enough, Lutz had enough on the kick that it was able to go through. But if the kick was a little bit longer than 40 yards, it was not going to make it. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this, but it seems like the line has is having such a hard time and they brought in the gentleman as a consultant. I I have no idea why the same person seems to be struggling so bad. And we're struggling still in the, the the punt and kickoff returns. It you know, other than that one little uh, spark we have from Lewis, they still look like they're struggling. Still look like there's no consistency there, you know? Uh so I think that they need he should have just given him off his first fifth can and he won't do it, so you know, the decisions they make. I mean it's just the special teams is just not one of the yeah. not a good one at all. It's just it's always a shaky thing. We'll come back to haunt them. So let's see how everything turns out. Halftime is almost I'm so, over. I'm so close to saying, I'm so close to saying this guy on Drew Brees and that whole offense. I, 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 I look for a total different performance in the second half. Yeah, well, the defense also, some of those defensive back plays from like Dalvin Bro and those guys have to do a better job. So we will be back after the game with me and the professor, and we'll talk more Saints football. And this is uh, just the start of the second half. So Saints fans and who that's, go out, check us out, follow us on Twitter, as well as at www.saintsnews.net. This is Kyle T. from Saints News Radio. Take care. We'll see you guys after the game. Take care. Bye.